Hello, and welcome to our report on an incredible encounter with a mysterious creature that has left many people in awe. David, an experienced hiker, set out on a solo hike in the Northern California mountains, hoping to explore the untouched wilderness. However, a sudden slip on a narrow shale trail led to a life-threatening fall, leaving David injured and alone in the wilderness. But what happened next is something that he could have never imagined. Join us as we dive into David's incredible encounter with a Bigfoot and how this creature saved his life. Let's get started. Filled with excitement, I embarked on my solo hike, eager to explore the untamed wilderness of the Northern California mountains. I had meticulously planned for weeks, carefully selecting my gear, packing my backpack with enough food and water, and studying the maps to chart my route. The cool morning air was refreshing, and the sun had just begun to rise, casting a warm golden glow on the rugged terrain that lay ahead. With each step, I felt my vitality increasing, surrounded by the beauty of nature, the sound of flowing water, and the sweet chirping of birds. As I ventured deeper into the forest, I experienced a sense of liberation, leaving behind the stresses of everyday life and embracing the freedom of the wild. Despite the weight of my backpack, I felt strong and capable, ready to face any challenges that lay ahead. As I trekked along the narrow shale trail, my attention was captured by a striking bird soaring above me, causing me to lose my footing and stumble on loose rocks scattered along the path. I frantically reached for a nearby tree branch to stop my fall, but it couldn't support my weight, and I continued to tumble down the mountain, my backpack weighing me down. My screams echoed throughout the valley, and I feared that I would never stop falling. Finally I came to a stop, and a sharp pain shot up my leg as I tried to stand up. I quickly realized that something was wrong, as I saw that my leg was twisted unnaturally. I knew that I needed to act quickly to avoid further injury. Despite the excruciating pain, I kept my cool and assessed my situation. I took out my first aid kit and fashioned a makeshift splint using a branch, bandages, and duct tape. However, the pain was overwhelming, and I struggled to remain composed. I knew that I needed help, but I was miles away from civilization, and my phone had no reception. Panic set in, and I wondered if I would make it out of there alive. With great effort, I crawled back up the steep incline. As I made my way, I felt a sharp pain in my lower back, but I persisted, determined to get back on the trail. Frustration and exhaustion began to take their toll, and I grew weaker by the minute, my breath coming in ragged gasps. Eventually, I collapsed on the ground, struggling to breathe. The pain in my muscles and joints was unbearable, and my heart pounded in my chest. I attempted to sit up, but my body felt heavy and sluggish, devoid of energy. I took a deep breath, attempting to calm down, but the more I focused on my condition, the worse I felt. After a few moments, my vision began to blur, and a strange tingling sensation crept into my fingertips. I knew I was in grave danger, and tried to reach for my water bottle, but my arm refused to cooperate. The last thing I remembered was the sound of my own voice, screaming for help into the empty wilderness. When I slowly opened my eyes, I felt a sharp pain in my leg and a throbbing headache. I attempted to sit up, but my body felt heavy and unresponsive. Panic gripped me as I realized I had no idea where I was or how I got there. The last thing I remembered was slipping on the mountain trail and falling. My surroundings were blurry and distorted, and I couldn't identify any familiar landmarks. Rustling leaves and distant animal calls only added to my confusion and fear. I tried to call out for help, but my voice was weak and hoarse. Suddenly I felt something warm and rough brush against my cheek. I flinched, but then I heard a soft, deep growl, and a sense of comfort and safety washed over me. It was as if an invisible force was guiding me, telling me that I was going to be okay. Despite my disorientation, I trusted my instincts and surrendered to the moment letting the fear and confusion fade away as I focused on the strange, wild energy surrounding me. As I lay unconscious on the mountainside, I gradually regained consciousness and felt my body moving. I was too scared to open my eyes, fearful that I might be falling or being dragged away by an unknown predator. The fear intensified as I felt the movement becoming more erratic and faster, but I continued to keep my eyes shut, hoping to wake up from the nightmare. Finally, when the movement stopped, I mustered up the courage to open my eyes, and was stunned to see a massive, hairy creature standing over me, looking at me with gentle eyes. I lay on the ground, feeling a warm breath on my face, as I slowly opened my eyes to see the creature standing over me, 
looking down with concern in its dark, intelligent eyes. At first I was terrified, thinking that I was about to be attacked by a bear or some other wild animal. But as I lay there, I soon realized that the creature was trying to help me. It reached down and gently lifted me up with its massive, powerful arms, cradling me like a child, and began to walk down the trail, carefully avoiding the rocks and obstacles that might hurt me. I could feel the creature's muscles rippling under its thick fur, and I marveled at its strength and agility. Although I didn't know what it was, I felt a sense of trust and safety, as if the creature was a guardian angel sent to watch over me. As we walked, I felt myself slipping in and out of consciousness, but every time I opened my eyes, I saw the creature's face, calm and reassuring, and I knew that I was going to be okay. As the creature carried me down the mountain, we encountered several difficult obstacles, such as steep cliffs and fallen trees, that the creature expertly navigated with ease, all while supporting my weight and carefully avoiding any further harm to me. I couldn't believe the incredible strength and agility of the creature, and I was filled with a deep sense of gratitude and amazement as I realized that I would never have been able to make it down the mountain on my own. Despite the pain and fear I was experiencing, I couldn't help but feel a sense of wonder and awe at the remarkable creature that was carrying me to safety. The Bigfoot carried me towards a small cabin, and as we approached, I noticed smoke rising from the chimney, giving me hope that I might find help there. The creature set me down gently in front of the door, and just as I was catching my breath, a man opened the door and peered out, startled by the unexpected sight of a Bigfoot. The creature grunted softly and gestured towards me, indicating that I needed help. The man quickly realized that I was injured and called for an ambulance while the Bigfoot retreated into the woods. As we waited for the ambulance to arrive, the man helped me inside and gave me some water and a blanket to keep me warm. I felt a sense of relief knowing that I was no longer alone and that help was on the way. The man introduced himself as Tom and told me that he lived in the cabin and had heard the commotion outside. Tom had never seen a Bigfoot before, but had heard stories about them from the locals. He explained to me that the creature had saved my life and that I owed it a debt of gratitude. Tom told me that he would do everything in his power to help me, and I felt a sense of warmth and safety in his presence. As we waited for the ambulance, Tom examined my leg and determined that it was broken. He applied a temporary splint to keep the leg stable until we could get to the hospital. I was in excruciating pain, but I felt comforted by Tom's kindness and compassion. When the ambulance arrived, Tom helped me onto the stretcher and watched as they drove away. I felt a mix of emotions, relief, gratitude, and awe at the creature that had saved my life. As I lay in the ambulance, I knew that I would never forget this experience and the mysterious, beautiful creature that had come to my rescue. I spent several weeks in the hospital recovering from my injuries. I underwent surgery to repair my broken leg and received treatment for the various cuts and bruises I had sustained during my fall. During my recovery, I spent a lot of time thinking about the Bigfoot that had saved my life. I wondered what had happened to the creature and hoped that it was safe and happy in its natural habitat. Eventually, I was discharged from the hospital and returned home, grateful to be alive and filled with a newfound appreciation for the power and beauty of nature. I knew that I would never forget the experience and that it had changed me in ways I could never fully comprehend. As I settled back into my routine, I often found myself daydreaming about the creature that had saved my life, wondering if I would ever have the chance to see it again. Thank you for watching our report on David's incredible encounter with a Bigfoot that saved his life. As the Placer County Sheriff's Department arrived at the scene, David told them about his mysterious savior. The Sheriff's Department was initially skeptical, but they couldn't explain how David could have possibly made it down the treacherous trail on his own, given his injuries and the location where he was found. Footprints in the area that didn't match any known animal and were much larger than a human's only added to the mystery. Despite their best efforts, they couldn't explain the circumstances of David's rescue, leading to further speculation about the existence of Bigfoot in the area. This encounter has left many people wondering what other mysteries lie hidden in the wilderness. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we hope to see you again soon.